This next item is in tote A, and I'm guessing a lot of you would not have picked this one up. All right, Bolo Buddies, I sold one single sticker for $13 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for over $18. Oh, and if you haven't seen, this is my new Bolo Buddies merch. Um, these are available over on my Whatnot for $5. They're earrings, and they're only being sold on Whatnot in my Buy It Now. So if you're not on Whatnot, you can use my link down below, and you can get $15 to shop. So you can go get some free earrings. So let's talk about this first item that I sold. It is a sticker. One sticker for $13 plus shipping. All in for over $18. And I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys. But this pile right here is sort of like my ephemera, things that uh, could bend, you know, that type of thing. So pictures, this little tote is stuff like that. I try to keep it in here so that it's, I know that I'm not going to like bend it with something heavy or something like that. Some old postcards. There's some really cool stuff. Look at these unicorn stickers. Unfortunately, it's not an entire, um, uh, what do you call it? Not an entire sheet. There's a couple missing stickers, but this will still, still sell eventually. And these can be really good money. So even if you find sticker sheets, if they have uh, interesting, cool topics that people are interested in, don't throw those away. All right, so the item I sold is a scratch and sniff. I'm not sure if it's in this one or not. Let me see if I can find it here. So it's definitely in the wrong bag. These are all those uh, like puffy stickers. These sell well also. Uh, but here is the one that I was looking for. It is a piece of chocolate, scratch and sniff piece of chocolate. Over $18 for one sticker, one sticker. How do I ship a sticker? First, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it between this right here, this tissue paper because I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard on both sides of this and that'll just kind of protect the sticker. Here's a little tip. It's not the most beautiful display, but um, I use a lot of boxes to put things in between. So what I will do is I will cut down my larger boxes and I will put them in a tote like this and then I will use those for things like this. So I folded it inside the paper and I'm gonna put this on top of it and then I'm gonna tape around this and I'm gonna put it either in a padded poly mailer or a regular poly mailer. All right, so I put the tape around it, that'll keep it secure. And then I'm gonna put one piece of bubble wrap around it. And then I'm gonna put it in a bubble poly mailer. Maybe a little excessive for one sticker, but they did pay $18.86 for one sticker all in. If you're wondering why the bubble wrap around this, that's, I know I taped it, but it's just kind of to prevent this from shifting uh, the paper shifting during shipment. So don't know if that's actually needed or not. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, let's see what else I sold. Okay, Bola Buddy. So that is one of the scratch and sniff stickers that I got at the Goodwill bins when I said I will make thousands. Do you guys remember that video? If not, it looks like this. Go check it out. It is one of my best Goodwill bins videos ever because I found something that I paid probably less than a dollar for it that I will make thousands on. Ah, I've already made a ton of money on it, but this is one of those stickers. Okay, so the next item I have a tote 32 and a question mark. <laughs> Gotta love it. So I kind of keep my media stuff in one place. So I'm gonna say it is either in tote 32 or with my media, but I'm gonna check my media first. Let's go check. Before we do that, I kind of want to talk about this situation. Um, everything is a disaster right now because I'm going to show you here in a minute what's going on. But this clothing rack, I am hoping to get out of here because I'm not really doing clothing anymore. And I'm hoping I can put the clothes that are left over on this clothing rack very soon. These wedding dresses, oh, I'm very, very close to just donating those. Uh, Pick those up from, I can't even remember. Somebody contacted me on Facebook and said, you can have them free, come get them. I hate to get rid of them because I spent so many time, so much time like putting them on a mannequin, photographing them, doing measurements. It was a nightmare. I personally do not recommend wedding dresses. I think these are all vintage and older, uh, but man, oh man, it was so much work and the sell-through rate, for my particular dresses, 
has been very, very slow. So to me, this has not been worth my time. You may have luck selling dresses. Now, the other problem I have are these dresses back here, which are bridesmaid dresses that I bought from David's Bridal on clearance. And on clearance means anywhere from five to $20. So some of those I paid way more than I should have. It was something I was experimenting with. It was not a good, um, I've made money, don't get me wrong. I've made money, but I would not do it again. Here's all the shoes, the David's Bridal shoes. I've sold a ton of them. Have I made money? Yes. Did I make money on the entire transaction? Yes, but I have all these items that are still sitting around. So be careful when you're doing retail arbitrage. All right, let's go see if we can find that uh, DVD that sold. I don't do a whole lot of media, but I will pick it up if it is sealed. And I'm trying to do a little more. I do have some over on Whatnot, and I'm not seeing the one I'm looking for. So I'm thinking that it's in Tote 32. Let's hope. Let's go see. All right, am I going to get lucky? Am I going to get lucky? Is it going to be in here? And there it is. Disney's Hocus Pocus. Just in time for Halloween, right? Um, I've never seen this movie. So I sold this for $20 plus shipping and a viewer bought it. So thank you so much, Tracy, for your purchase. You guys go check out uh, Pinky's secondhand store on eBay. You have heard me talk about her before. She buys from me like two or three times a month. She's so sweet. And I also have a video coming up where she sent me a box of goodies. Oh my gosh, you guys. She nailed it. Wait until you see what I got. And I pop up screenshots of everything in the box. And I also show you what has sold and how I listed everything. So if I do an unboxing video, I do keep those educational. So you are still going to learn from those. But again, sealed DVD. You guys remember my money pile? Well, it's still there, but now in front of the money pile, I'm going to show you guys this. These are all, these two totes are empty. This tote I'm starting to fill. Um, this tote down here is empty. These are all empty totes, all right? And these were out in my main area in the basement. And my husband, I had jewelry up in the laundry room and he's like, we got to do something with this jewelry. And I'm like, I agree. So he went and bought me a shelf. So now all these totes are in here. So my money pile is now covered with totes. Now you ask, why do you have so many totes? Well, I went to an estate sale and they had totes for sale and I got these totes anywhere from three to five dollars a piece the smaller ones were cheaper the bigger ones were five dollars and if you're a reseller you know how much totes are so i just bought them i mean i would have been crazy not to buy them but now i have to store them so i wanted to put a couple of the big ones like this one's empty and this one's empty up top and ready to put inventory in if i need them i am trying to not source as much right now because obviously i have enough to sell um, all of these are vintage snapback hats. I am going to have a snapback hat sale. I was going to list them all on eBay and I'm like, I don't have time. This is something I could have a whole show on and do snapback hats over on whatnot. So that's going to be coming. I've got a bunch of Build-A-Bear clothes. I may do a Build-A-Bear uh, pop-up show during the day on whatnot. So I'm trying to think of some themed shows that I can do with some of these totes that I have, maybe a, a Paw Patrol show or just plush or toys, different things like that. So if there's anything that you're looking for, let me know down in the comments what type of whatnot pop-up show you would like me to have during the day. And let me know if a daytime show is something that you're interested in seeing. I know we're getting away from the vlog, what sold part of this a little bit, but I kind of just want to give you some updates because I have some updates going on. Um, this is my new shelf. I told you my husband got me a new shelf. I actually canceled my whatnot show last night and I never cancel. I'm on Tuesday, Friday and Sunday night and decided I was exhausted and I just needed a break and I still have to work on this today. These shelves are going to be packed with jewelry. Um, the bottom shelf here is, uh, what do you call it? Going to be my buy it now stuff. On whatnot. So I have over 200 things on buy it now. I just put 39 new jewelry items in there. These are all statement necklaces. And when I tell you statement necklaces, oh my goodness, there is some beautiful, I mean, this is some sort of stone. It's incredible. It's so cold. It's so beautiful. 
these are all earrings that I need to sort through, and I'm probably going to do uh, unboxings with those. Uh, you know, just tons and tons of jewelry. But what I wanted to show you is these are all ties. I might have a tie pop-up show on whatnot. I don't know. Would that interest anyone? So a long, long time ago, over three years ago, I bought jewelry from Lucky Day Shop. That is her name on whatnot now. And this is some of the stuff I have never even looked at. And she had it all in bags. I have no idea what's in here. This is a huge tote full of stuff. So eventually, I'm going to be bringing some of this to whatnot too. I think these are like little bangles and stuff. But most of these are single bags that she had bagged individually and decided that she wasn't going to sell it. And I bought 344 pounds of jewelry off her. So, um, look for that in the future. But now, Lucky Day Shop, we have remained friends since we met, and I picked that up. And she is now on Whatnot. She is doing awesome. She also made my Bolo Buddies earrings that I showed you at the beginning, the merch. So I don't even know what's in this. This is all, I don't know. If, I think some of this might be, ah, geez, I don't know. I've had this stuff so long just sitting in bins. This is before I did Whatnot. So I was planning on putting all this stuff on eBay and look at that. Are those all rings? Wow. I, I don't even know what's in here, guys. There, it looks like there's a tote and a tote. So just tons and tons of jewelry. And you know, I just, I just got to get to it. I got to get to it. More jewelry. Here's some of my displays and stuff like that. Some bags. I don't know what that is. So yeah. Just lots and lots to do. So I'm going to get it all organized and out of my laundry room. Super excited about it. Again, maybe not necessary, but I do put my DVDs in between a two pieces of cardboard. So I use that cardboard all the time. And this one is going to get an owl and a thank you sticker because it is a viewer purchase. So if it is a viewer purchase, I usually put a little owl sticker. Not necessarily this one. I have tons. If you guys missed my... Um, video on where I get my stickers. It looks like this. Pop it up right here for you guys. You can go check that out. If you sell on whatnot, definitely check it out because it also gives you ideas of where to get like thank you stickers and number stickers. But if a viewer buys, so anything I sell on whatnot gets a owl sticker. And I've got cuter ones and funny ones and all kinds, but this one is really beautiful and this one's purple. So I'm going to get this shipped out and I'm going to put this in a padded poly mailer also. And for some reason, I did not note where I got the DVD or what I paid for it. But I will say that I usually don't pay more than a dollar for my DVDs. Probably got it at a garage sale or the Goodwill bins. At the Goodwill bins, it's pay by pound. It, the last time I was there, I think it was 59 cents a pound for media. So if it was from the bins, I paid less than a dollar. Garage sales, again, usually not more than a dollar. This next item is in tote A. And I'm guessing a lot of you would not have picked this one up. Um, let's see. Oh, so that other tote room, once I move that clothing rack, that's going to turn into, um, more totes. So I'm going to be using those totes as soon as I get rid of that clothing rack. So I am looking for a stuffed animal right now. It sold for $13 plus shipping. I got it at the Goodwill bins. It's dark in here right now. There it is. It's this little monkey. Um, it is a little cute monkey rattle. This is a baby toy. It's made by um, Grin and Grow. $13 plus shipping. I'm telling you, people look for things. Maybe somebody has a child that really likes monkeys. I don't know, but I love it. It's just a small little toy. It's easy to ship. It's easy to list. Plush is awesome. And Plush sells really good over on um, Mercari. So if you're not on Mercari, Plush and Toys, actually, you know, clothes probably do well over there as well. I sold two hats. I'm not sure if this is one of them. So I'm going to leave that right there for now. Actually, no, I better put it back in just in case it's not that one. But um, yeah, check out Mercari. There's a link down below. You will get uh, $10 to shop when you join Mercari and another um, $20 to shop when you 
sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's 30 bucks in your pocket. And it also gives me money to sell. So I appreciate it when you guys use my link and that is down in the description. This guy does not have plastic eyes. His eyes are sewn. So I am simply gonna slide him into this poly mailer. That's it, done. Um, if they have plastic eyes, I do wrap bubble wrap around it to protect the eyes from getting scratched during shipment. But this is just easy, easy, easy shipping. All right, so this is kind of my mess. These are the totes that I'm putting the jewelry in to organize it. This is all crafters. Crafters, crafters, crafters. I'm going to have a crafters show. I just don't know when. Probably one to two pound lots over on whatnot. Coming soon. Oh my goodness. Um, I got to figure out a place for these. I'm reorganizing right now. So this is why it looks the way it looks. Um, I just bought a table that's adjustable. So in height, so it can get higher and lower. I'm going to put that against this wall. And I think that's where I'm going to do uh, my jewelry sorting to make my bundles that I make and stuff like that. And I may put a table, I don't know, another table over there. I, I'm still trying to figure it out, guys. So uh, when it's done, I will show you in one of my future uh, vlog style videos because it's kind of a hot mess right now. I just started working on this yesterday. But I'm so thankful that I have this size totes because these are great for uh, putting the jewelry in and then I'm labeling like brooches, necklaces. And then when I go to pull for my whatnot show, it's going to make things a lot easier. Here's two more bags. Um, I'm pretty sure this is all wearable jewelry and I need to go through it. I am not sure. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot and I'm not even sure what's there or where it came from. I think that might be part of my 344 pounds. Maybe I did a video on it and then just threw it in a bag and haven't looked at it because originally... When I bought that 344 pounds of jewelry, it was really to learn and to do videos on. <laughs> I, I mean, I, was, I knew I was going to sell it and make money on it also because I would be silly not to. But I have a lot of educational videos. I'm looking for something while I talk to you. A lot of educational videos that I did with, uh, I'm looking for an elephant, Moonstone Mamas where she educates, I was really close, sorry. Uh, she educates us on the different types of jewelry. So if you wanna go back a long time ago, whoa, type in Bola Buddies Moonstone Mamas and we sort through jewelry and she helps me identify what different stones are and stuff like that because I'm pretty clueless, I still am, but I do my best and over on whatnot, I don't have to know anything because you guys know. All right, I'm looking for a ginormous plush elephant that is already in the box. So I'm looking for a box that says elephant and I just can't do that and talk to you guys. So I will be right back. It is 19 by 12 by nine, um, six pounds elephant. This thing is huge. It's huge. And I'm gonna have to tighten this, tighten this up because it's loosened with time. So I'm really happy to get rid of this. I believe this came from Facebook Marketplace. Um, I bought from this lady before and she messaged me said she had more stuff and to come and get it and I paid one price I'm pretty sure that's where this elephant came from because this is not something I typically source okay so eBay has two styles of stickers that I like to pick up with my eBay coupon I'm recycle packaging eBay and then it also has repurpose for the planet it's a bigger one so um just wanted to show you both styles of those these are great for walmart boxes or other boxes so somebody doesn't think that they got the wrong package you know what i'm saying because this is from ebay and then there's also ebay stickers okay so i don't typically do this but on this one it is so tight that i did put a note that says do not cut to open it kind of looks like do not cat to open because i have really pretty writing but um anyhow I'm going to slap a label on this and this is ready to go and I'll pop up a screenshot either I already did or now of what this elephant looks like sold for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. I'm back over to tote a because I confirmed that yes this is the hat that sold. I sold this for $19.50. I paid $2 at a thrift store for this and the buyer paid $19.50 plus shipping. And I'm trying to see what the brand is. Filippo. I don't know. It's made in Italy. That's why I picked it up. Um, I learned about these straw hats from Butterfly Hustles. And I have been picking them up ever since I saw what she sells them for 
on her YouTube channel. So definitely check out Butterfly Hustles. All right, my craft tote too got moved all the way over here. It was in a different spot. I had to find it. So I sold a quilting thing, a <laughs> quilting thingy. Not even sure how you use it or what it is, but I sold it and I sold it for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. So over the summer I went to an estate sale and I've got a whole bunch of crafting items. And I think it's in tote too. Here it is. And here's some of them. They're like template things. Octagon, octagon. Okay, that's not the one. The one I'm looking for says triangle. I think this might be it right here. Yes, right triangle. So $9 plus shipping for this quilting template that was originally $4.95. So vintage and old uh, crafting supplies can definitely be a bolo. This is from 1991. So I call a $9 item a bolo. Why? Because uh, items like this, they keep your store running. If you just have high dollar items in your store, you're going to struggle because you're not going to have sales every day. These things you can pick up super cheap. You can flip them. Like I probably had 10 cents in this and I flipped it for $9 plus shipping. This is what keeps my store running. This is why I have sales every single day. The big money bolos are awesome, but those small sales add up. So if you're a new seller, don't super hyper focus on buying big money items because a lot of times you have to spend more for them. Pick up cheap stuff too. Fill your store up and other resellers may tell you differently and you can listen to them. <laughs> they, you know, everybody has a different business model. This works for me. I like selling something that I bought for 10 cents for $9. Those, those margins are great. This is easy to ship. It's easy to find. Maybe not this particular item, but vintage um, craft items are easy to find. Sometimes they're long tail. This took, I think I got this over the summer and it's what, September. So it took a little while to sell, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. So you guys decide what works for you. Don't let anybody judge you on what you sell. You sell what you like to sell. And if you're making money, you're doing an awesome job. That's my opinion. <laughs> and it's just an opinion. Pattern also going in between a old box that I have cut up. And then this is just going to go into a regular poly mailer, not a bubble mailer. And again, I use my shipping supplies coupon to get these mailers from eBay. All right, the next item I sold is another floppy hat. And this one sold for $14.30. I'm stepping over boxes. Like I said, I'm reorganizing everything right now. Uh, $14.30, the buyer paid shipping, and it is in tote 19. Here's jewelry that I have listed, that I listed a long time ago. I do have some jewelry listed, but now it comes, most of it comes to whatnot, almost all of it. Uh, right, here it is. It's a, from the Goodwill bins, and it is Capelli. And $14.30, it's another straw type hat. And it's got the little thingy that comes down around the neck. And I'll show you guys how I'm gonna ship these hats. So a couple things to know about shipping hats. These are floppy. So honestly, like if you're using a priority mailbox, you can fold this kind of up like this and you could put it in a, um, a, a priority mail shoe box, all right? But now that they've switched everything pretty much to ground, um, I went in and did a bulk edit and switched everything to ground shipping. So I'm going to find a box that will fit both of these hats because it's the same buyer and show you how I'm going to do it. So I will be back. Let me go find a box. All right. So here's another thing I do with my cardboard. I will, if there's a slit, if I'm worried somebody's going to cut something like that elephant, I probably should have done this for that one, but I didn't do it. And honestly, I was too lazy to open up that box and try to get it in there again because it was barely fitting anyway. So I will take a piece of cardboard and then I will tape over this both ways. And then if somebody cuts this box long ways, they're not going to cut into the product. They're going to cut into this piece of cardboard. So there is a Bolo Buddy shipping tip for you. So for the top, I'm going to try to show you this and hold my phone. It's going to be the same thing, only I'm going to be putting this down and taping it like this. And so it's much easier to do the bottom than the top. And then same thing, it's just going to cover that crease area. Tape across. This is going to fold down. So if they cut it, they're cutting into that, not the hat. 
Another shipping tip. Have people give you their boxes. This was given to me. This is not my box. Um, friends, family, neighbors, they will all give you their boxes. They will save them for you. This is the perfect size box for these two hats. Yes, I left them in a plastic bag. Why? Because if this bag gets soaking wet, those Ziploc bags are going to protect these hats from getting damaged during shipment. So yes, sometimes if I ship in a box, I will leave things in the plastic bags. I'm going to slap an eBay sticker on it and grab one of my recycled boxes from my sticker sheets. All right, this next item I picked up for 50 cents at a garage sale. I will always pick these up if I find them. Um, I can usually get them at a decent price and the sell-through rate really depends on the item. Sometimes it takes a while, I'm not gonna lie. I've had this for quite a while, so let's check it out. This is a bunch of jewelry I have listed. Like I said, um, I used to list jewelry on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I do still put some stuff on there from time to time, but not like, not very often. I don't, I, I'm really struggling to get things listed right now on eBay with just so many things going on and just busy, busy, busy. Doing whatnot is the biggest thing. Um, the time it takes to prepare for the show. Now I've got this new thing where I'm organizing everything and getting this shelf set up. It's taking forever, but it's going to be so awesome and I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. So it's a Disney pen that I sold and I'm having trouble locating it. It said it was in my blue tote. So this is my blue tote and I don't see it. So let me um, look at it again. And it's, I think it's carded. There it is. That's what made me realize. It's a little goofy on an airplane. 50 cents at a garage sale. And let me see what I sold it for sold this for $11.05 and the buyer paid shipping and I'm going to put it inside of this. If you don't know, these are pillow um, mailers. I call them mailers. I think people put gift cards and different things in them. My, um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> slides in like that. So it's in there. It's ready to go. I've showed this before. So if you've seen it, I apologize. This isn't much of a shipping tip for you but they're pretty sturdy. If you buy the nice ones, they're pretty sturdy. And that's just gonna protect your item. And then I put this down in a poly mailer. So you know those dresses I was telling you guys about over here? I sold one. Um, I sold it for $22 and I paid 13 for it. So not a good buy, not a good buy at all. And I've had them listed for years and years and years. And now I have to figure out where the thing is because I literally have to look through and find it. Now this one is an easier color to find, but I think I need two hands to do this more quickly. So I will be right back. This is white by Vera Wang. And this is a higher dollar dress from David's Bridal. And I sold some of these at the beginning for more. So I did make a bigger profit. I'm still making a profit on this $13 and sold it for 22 plus shipping. But I really, at this point in time, just want to get rid of them. Another bad thing about these style of dresses is that you get a lot of returns. Sometimes people will tuck the tags, they will wear them, and then they will return them to you with deodorant on them. Super frustrating. Um, other times, they just try them on and they come back with deodorant on them, and you do get a lot of returns on this type of thing. So, I absolutely 100% will stay away from things like this in the future. Some people sell these items all the time and have no problems. Let me know if you're one of those people, but that is another Bola Buddies tip of the day. I have been reselling since 2005, and one thing that you learn when you're a reseller is things that you like and things that you don't like. Now, that doesn't mean that because I don't like it or because I do like it, that you're gonna like it or not like it. Um, you have to figure out what works for you, but I can definitely give you guys some of the things that I've learned over the years. So basically, definitely try different things and see what works for you because we're all different and we all enjoy doing different things. But one thing that I will say is find things that you enjoy selling because it makes reselling not feel like a job. Shipping on these are really easy. They already are in the plastic bag originally from the manufacturer. So I'm basically just going to slide it down into this priority mailbox. Easy peasy. Priority mailbox. You can get these free on USPS.com and it is ready to go.
I ship these dresses typically in a box because sometimes they have a uh, boning, which kind of uh, is a stiffer part of the dress. And I don't want that to get bent, but I also don't want these to get wrinkled. A lot of times people are buying these for a wedding, prom, homecoming, different things like that. And you want them to show up in not a wrinkled mess from being in a poly mailer. So I suggest a box for things like this. Okay, the next item is in tote 22. It is an item that I picked up at the Goodwill bins. And it's a toy. If you guys have never seen my Goodwill bins videos, I love to buy small toys at the Goodwill bins. I dig to the very bottom. I think my Goodwill bins videos are really fun. Uh, a lot of the items, again, it goes back to that bread and butter. You may not pick these items up because you want higher margin items. Uh, I'm okay with a 50 cents into $15. And that's about what this is. It's a very lightweight item. Let me see if I can find it here for you guys. Oh my goodness. Is this the one that says some items in tote 29? I'm almost certain I messed up one day and I accidentally labeled my totes wrong. And I think I remember this is in tote 29. So it's a little Sesame Street guy. And a lot of times I will bag a bunch of stuff in one little bag. So I have to look in these bags and try to figure out what is what. So I'm looking for Big Bird and a slide. Here it is. No, it's not Big Bird. <laughs> Who's the blue guy? Ah. So uh, it's the slide, the teeter-totter. Is this Cookie Monster? And then who's this dude right here? Ernie or Bert? That's Ernie? I think that's Ernie. This is another another listing. So these items right here, the two guys and the two, uh, the slide and the teeter-totter sold for $15 plus shipping. Okay, so I've got it all tucked into my American Bubble Boy bubble wrap and I'm going to put it into this box right here and seal it up and it's going to be ready to go. So, um, American Bubble Boy. That is who I get my bubble wrap from. All right, you guys, American Bubble Boy. If you need bubble wrap, use my link down below. That is a referral link, and I do appreciate it when you guys use my referral link. So thank you so much for that. Um, even if you already have an American Bubble Boy account, if you click on that link, I will um, get a kickback because you used my link and I'm sending you a reminder now that you may need to purchase some bubble wrap. Uh, they also have tape. Uh, American Bubble Boy now has tape also. So check it out. Okay, so I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping on Poshmark. It's made by Loft and has this ribbon around these pretty little, um, I think they're glass or maybe Aurora Borealis. I don't know. I get so confused on what is what. Again, another reason I like whatnot because I probably had loft necklace ribbon or something like that is my title which is awful uh i'll pop up a screenshot of my title whatnot is great for um you know just selling things that you don't know much about i really like to bring things like jewelry over there if i can't identify it because more than likely somebody in the chat is going to know exactly what this is now i will like i'll take the pieces and i'll be like Okay, it sounds like glass or, you know, I, I give as much detail as I can, but I don't always have the right answers. So anyway, if you're looking for some jewelry, come on over to my whatnot. I will be on tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll be selling jewelry tonight. Now look for pop-ups of other items in the near future during the day. And uh, my Halloween Boo Fest show went great. Thanks for, to everybody that came and supported me over there. A really great turnout. It was super fun and it was a daytime show. So I keep saying I'm going to do a daytime show. And then I'm like listing on eBay. I'm shipping my whatnot orders. And look at my hair. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm just, I never get to it. I never have time to get to it. So I'm hoping to get some daytime shows in. If you guys want to see a daytime show, let me know down in the comments. If you're not on Whatnot already, you can use my referral link down below to get $15 to shop. I know I mentioned that earlier, but uh, use that link. It's free money, guys. You don't have to spend that with me. You can spend that with anybody on Whatnot. All right, Bolo Buddies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. This is a vlog style video. Most of my uh, shows are what solds. 
and category videos where I'm talking about items to be on the lookout for. So I try to keep this channel educational. I have been putting out some more Goodwill bins videos. I know a lot of you requested those. I just recently published one, so check that out. And let me know what type of video is your favorite style of video. Do you like the reseller vlogs? Are the shipping tips helpful? Um, I don't know. Just give me some feedback down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and hope to see you tonight on Whatnot. Even if you don't buy, just come hang out in the chat. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon and thanks for watching.